The Dogon couple is easily one of my favorite paintings out of the Africa series. What I had to do was to contend with the fact that I'm an African. I grew up here as an African American. My father actually is from Nigeria. He returned to Nigeria before I was born. And so my sense of Africa is at once very American because I grew up in California, South Central Los Angeles in the 1980s. But it's also the sense of someone longing for a country that never really was part of his existence, longing for a father who was never there, longing for a sense of authentic attachment to Africa, the real Africa, not the one that's received on television. And that's, I think, what gave rise to the Africa paintings. Sure, they're pointing to the European colonial past, and sure, they're pointing to very specific works of pre-colonial African art. But I think in that is also a type of longing to be authentically related to the continent itself. And it's a really hard thing to articulate because many of us know what, it, what the African-American narrative is. Many of us have this sense of a kind of back to Africa mentality. But this isn't a stance. This isn't a, a, a trope. This is my life. And it's my life writ large in large paintings. It's my life imagined through young sitters who are then taking on the pose of the Dogon couple. It's the Dogon couple, a, a painting that is inspired by sculpture from a completely different group, in fact, from Senegal. What does that do? It's, 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 it's kind of like this gumbo pot where flotsam and jetsam, parts of different desires and, and needs, all arrive at the same time, at the same spot on this painting. But it's, I think, again, it comes back to the twinning, the doubling. It's about them, but it's about me. It's this dual uh, presence in the painting.